welcome back to this channel if you're new then welcome to this channel well i'm back with one more interesting project using python tkinter well it is all about bmi calculator if you observe even in the previous videos even in the previous sessions we actually worked on a python exercise which is all about bmi calculator where we actually wrote logic for this particular bmi calculator now what are we going to do is we are going to create a simple api and we are going to connect this bmi calculator logic to that api so that whenever user opens that particular API and if it gives height and weight then at that time it will check the condition of that person and it will give us the output according to that so this is what we are going to do well let me tell you what is a BMA calculator first where BMA calculator is nothing but a body mass index calculator which is used to calculate person's height and weight it will check the condition of that person based on that person's height and weight so tracking BMI is really a useful way to see if you're maintaining a healthy weight or not and here we are going to use a formula of this BMI in order to calculate the healthy weight of that person in order to use this body mass index there is a formula called weight by height square so we are going to use this formula you don't have to worry about how this formula got what we have to do is we have to just use this logic to calculate the body mass index of a person and one more thing is once we are done with that logic first what we'll do is we'll create a layout and later we'll attach this you know we'll connect this logic to that particular api I'll tell you how but first let us understand there are some rules that you have to follow in order to make this BMI work for the person. There are some conditions or categories like once you're done with this like once you calculated this weight by height square of that person if that BMI is less than 18.4 then you have to tell that person is actually underweight and if it is greater than or equal to 18.5 or less than 24 that means if that BMI is between 18.5 and 24 then you have to tell that person is a normal person if that is between 25 and 29 you have to tell that the person is an overweight person if that exceeds 30 then you have to tell them that it's an obesity okay using these categories we are going to build our bma calculator and the program will take the person's height and weight as input and it will generate the corresponding bma category based on the given conditions i hope you guys understood what is this bmi calculator now it's time to work on the project let me show you the layout first so the layout looks something like this so here if you give your weight for example 60 and if you give your height, for example, 1.2, and if you click on calculate, it will give us the BMI. Okay, this is an obesity. And if you give, for example, 30, click on calculate, that person is a normal person. So in this way, we are going to calculate our body mass index. So yeah, let's get started. So first we'll work on the layout part and once we are done with the layout part, next we'll work on the logical part. So the layout part is looks something like this. So here we need app name, app name and here we need a line so that you know it divides the window into two parts and we are going to make it into two frames one is the up frame and one is the down frame in the down frame as you guys can see there's a little form where user can give his weight and height and if you click on calculate that bmi logic will be run in the background and it will give the output and that output will get updated in this entry okay for example if you give 70 and if you give 1.0 and if you click on calculate, it will give us the BMI. Okay. As you guys can see here, I already worked on, you know, the window part. This is really easy, right? So these are the colors that I'm going to follow. One is black and one is white and one is blue. And you guys know how to create a window, right? So just give the geometry as 295 by 230 because that worked for me. And even give resizable height and width as well so that, you know, it will not mess with the size of the window. Just give background color as white. Okay. And if you run this one, you'll see a basic window with nothing on it. Let's work on it. So first, we'll divide this window into two frames. So just give the first frame will be the top frame. So just give top frame or frame up. Just give frame. And we want this in window. Just give width 295, which is the width of the window. And just give height as 50. 
and background color will be white and just give pad y zero pad x also zero and yeah and if you give top frame dot grid row will be zero column will be zero you'll see nothing so for just to change just give background color as color two and if you run this one you'll see a basic thing right yeah this is what we want let's give background color as white itself now it's time to create down frames just copy this one same logic this will be down and this will be down and here the row value will be one and column value will be zero now it's time to work on the app name right here we need an app name on top here we need an app name and here we need a line so yeah let's do it so just give app name equal to label we need this in top frame and just give text equal to BMI calculator and width will be 23 and height will be 1 tab x 0 anchor center Just give font equal to IV sixteen bold. Just give background color as white, which is color one, and foreground color as black, which is color zero. And yeah, let's place this one app name dot place x equal to 0 and y equal to 2 and if we run this one yeah this is what we want basic bmi calculator okay yes and now we'll work on app line app line same thing, just copy this entire thing. Label, but this time no BMI calculator. And just give it 400. And height will be 1. Just give background color as 2, which is blue. And just place this one. App line dot place x will be zero and y will be thirty five. Now yeah, let's see. Okay, let's give this one Arial, no bold Arial. So yeah, here we have an app line. Now it's time to work on these two things, right? Let's do it. So first we need label weight. So just give L, L for label weight equal to label. We need this in down frame. And text will be enter your weight. And height will be 1 and add x0 anchor center and 
font will be IV 10 bold just give background color as white and foreground color as black replace this thing L weight dark red Row value will be 0, column value will be 0. Just give column span equal to 1 and pad y 10 and pad x 3. Yes, we need something like this. We'll copy this thing and we'll also work on the entry. Now let's work on the entry. So just give E weight, which is entry weight, equal to entry. We need this in down frame. That will be 5 because we, we don't need that much width. Font will be same. Justify will be center. And relief equal to solid. Just give E weight dot grid row will be zero, column will be one, and also give column span equal to one, pad y equal to ten, and pad x equal to three. Yeah, we need something like this. Okay. In the same way, we are going to build enter your height. So, just copy this entire thing. But instead of L weight, we'll give L height. This will be height. Height. And this will be height. And we have to change these things. Enter your height. And we'll place this thing and this time this will be row 1 and column 0. This will be row 1 and column 1. And yeah, let's see. Yes, now we have enter your weight and enter your height. Now we'll work on this thing. So just give label result. And just give label. We need this in down frame. And just give it as 5 and text will be this thing in the beginning it will be nothing and just give height as 1 and pad x equal to 6 pixels and pad y just give 12 I played with these numbers guys even you have to play if you're not satisfied with these you know dimensions and just give anchor equal to center and font equal to IV 24 bold background color as blue color 2 and foreground color as white just place this thing dot place just give x value 175 and y value as 10 you can now do the same to represent the result text so just copy this one and just give result text here We need this in down frame, so just give it 
37 and just don't give anything here because this will get updated when you know when we are updating the BMI when we are working on that BMI result okay so just give nothing here and yeah that's it and just place this and just give x value 0 and y value 85 okay and now it's time to work on the button so just give b calculate equal to button we need this in down frame so just give x equal to calculate and it will be 34 and just give height is 1 and background color will be blue one foreground color will be white which is color 0 and font which is IV10 bold just give anchor center yeah let's place this thing b calculate dot grid row will be zero or row will be four and column will be zero just give pad y 60 because we need this in bottom pad x 5 column span 30 just give background color yeah look something like this and let's change this foreground color let's give white color one whenever user gives these two things and when we click on calculate it have to run that bmi you know body mass index logic so for that what you have to do is just create a method called calculate so first we need to get the results of you know the weight and height right so first what we'll do is we'll get weight equal to from where we are going to get this weight from the entry weight right from this entry weight we are going to get so just give entry weight dot get and one more thing is in order to calculate this bmi we need the data in the float format so what i'll do is once i got these values i'll just convert this thing to float float of e weight dot get similarly we are going to get the height so just give height equal to float of e height dot get all right now we got height and weight and now what we need if you remember the formula of bmi calculator is actually weight by height square right weight by height square so in order to get this height square what i'll do is near height itself i'll do power 2 so that you know you can get height square over there and i'm gonna use that so just give power 2 which is nothing but height square and just give result equal to simply weight by height and that's it which is weight by height square actually we are calculating this square here itself okay and now we have to follow some conditions right if it is less than 18.4 we have to tell to the user that it is underweight okay so if result is less than 
18.4 give l result text of just give text equal to your bmi is under way l result is nothing but this thing this text will get updated your bmi is underweight if this result is 18.4 less than 18.4 okay and if result is if the result is between 18.5 and 24 right which means if it is greater than or equal to 18.5 and less than 24 okay if result greater than or equal to 18.5 and result less than 24 or 24.9 is the exact you know criteria just give l results dot text l result of text just give your bmi is normal just give normal here if bmi is greater than or equal to 25 and if it is less than 29 at the time you have to tell that the person's bmi is overweight just give if result greater than or equal to 25 and result less than 29.9 is the actual criteria just give your BMI is overweight. Like once it checks all of these conditions, just give elif here, okay? If the result is less than 18.5, 18.4, then it will say to the user that it is underweight. Else if the result is greater than or equal to 18.5 and the result is less than 24.9, then at the time it will say that your BMI is normal. L if if that's not the case, then if there is it will check whether the result is greater than or equal to 25 or less than 29.9 or not. If that's the case, then it will print overweight. If none of these, then you have to tell to the user that their BMI is an obesity. So for that, what you'll do is just give else here. You don't have to, you know, give again. Give the condition again. So just give else obesity that's it and at the same time we have to update this result right result so we have to update this so once we are done with these conditions just give l result of text equal to just give this here and We need this in two decimals format. So point F F dot format result. It will just format the data up to two decimals. It will just format the given number into two decimals. That's what here exactly happening and at the same time it will update the text of that you know this one this one okay and now what we have to do is we have to connect this logic we just took height and weight from the user to entry and we calculated the bmi which is weight by height square like i just did power to here itself so that it will be easy for you know result to get calculated 
and the result is less than 18.4 just give underweight if it is between 18.5 and 24.9 just give normal if it is between 25 and 29.9 just give overweight and if it is greater than 30 like if it exceeds 29.9 you don't have to give condition here because that's the only condition which is left at the end so you can just give your BMI is obesity and once you're done here you're just giving you're just formatting the numbers up to two decimals and you're updating the text that's it so in order to connect this thing just copy this and where's the button because when user clicks on that calculate button it will run this entire logic so just give command equal to calculate and it will do the job background color as white and foreground color as black and just give this one as 10 And if you give 30 here, and if you give 1.2, and if you calculate, it will say your BMI is normal. For example, if you give the weight 70, calculate, it is obesity. If you give 40, overweight. If you give 20, underweight. So in this way, this BMI exactly works. I hope you guys understood how this logic exactly is working. You just have to focus on the logical part and you just have to focus on the layout part and just connect both of them so that it will do a good job for us. I hope you guys understood how this exactly working. In the next video, I'll be back with one more interesting project. So yeah, if you like the video, then hit that cute little like button. If you are new to this channel and still didn't subscribe to this channel, what are you waiting for? Just go there and tap the red button so that you guys never miss an update from us. So yeah, see you in the next video.